Check one, two. Check one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Shaman RTP here with Pewter and Red Podcast. We're going to watch some film of some Baker Mayfield. And hopefully this will work out. We'll see how it goes. You know, things get crazy. But I just wanted to say real quick, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new and you like the content that you've been watching lately, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm I'm a little tired. Sorry, guys. I've been doing all kinds of things today, uh, fixing my my place. Um, we are uh, family friendly, and work friendly, and safer family. All that stuff you can watch us while the kids are in the car. You can watch us in the background at work. So don't worry about that. Today we're gonna watch some film on Baker Mayfield. We're gonna try to get some film work from Baker when he was with the Browns. We're gonna watch as much as we can of one game. I got. Week five, Browns versus uh, the Chargers uh, it was a pretty good game for Baker. They ended up scoring 42 points. They lost that game, but they scored 42 points. So obviously the game is not on them unless Baker threw a whole bunch of picks. Uh, but this should be the good game for Baker. Then there was the week 17 game, which should be a, a pretty bad game for Baker, which is against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're going to try to watch some of that game. And then we're going to try to watch some games of last year, which was we have a week 11 uh, and a week 16. I believe 16 was with uh, the Rams. I could be wrong. That could still be with uh, the Panthers. And week 11 against Baltimore, which I believe is a bad game uh, that he was with the Panthers. So we're going to try to watch some, some uh, tape of Baker. The comment section is open. You guys can talk. Uh, if you guys are watching this live, uh, if you're not watching it live, you guys can comment in the comment section. I do be reading the comment section and replying. So any questions you guys have or any type of content that you guys want to see uh, coming on on this channel, let us know. Let me know. Um, you can also, well, we'll get to that, but let's start with some uh, rhythm. All right. We got some rhythm going. Let's start with the ticker. We got the ticker going and now let's get ready to play so as you can see right there my twitter handle is there on the bottom on the ticker it is buck uh bucks pr podcast is my twitter you can uh, reach me there if you guys got any questions or anything you want to ask me or uh want me to put on the channel uh do you have any trash film we will do that after i see you T tampa bay rays fan one of my day ones <laughs> What it do, Tampa Bay Rays fan? We will be definitely doing some Kyle Trask uh, film as well. Uh, today we're gonna we're gonna focus on Baker, and then we will do some Kyle Trask. We also have uh, we still got to do our top five reasons why the Buccaneers will succeed this year, um, or the uh, top five reason why the Buccaneers will win the division. So we still got that content to do we got a lot of content coming to this channel i know a lot of my day ones remember that i don't really put out that much content but with this channel we're trying to start fresh we're trying to start new and i'm definitely trying to put out a lot of content now so uh make sure you hit that notification bell and 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 know uh that way you're notified you're notified when uh you know when we're about to do something so let's let's get into it uh one second let me let me change this real quick let's 
There we go. All right. All right. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully this all goes smoothly. Let's get playing that. But... So there's 11 plays here. A nine yard pass, 20 yard run, 13 yard run, minus one yard run, 22 yard pass, 12 yard run, uh, run for no gain, four yard sack, nine yard run, minus five yard penalty. And yeah, so there's not that many passes. Let, let's see. First play is a nine yard pass. What happened to the. All right, so we're going to see Baker right here. Let me go ahead and open this up. What up, Mets? Mets wants to see some Baker film, huh? We're going to see some film right here. Now, we don't get to get the real coaching film because I guess they don't let you get coaching film when it's two years back. I don't know, or maybe they just don't want to put no brown no browns coaching film i don't know but there's i couldn't find the all 22 uh but when we do next year's uh we were uh when we do next year's uh tape we'll be able to watch all 22 of there uh so let's go back see this is this is this one takes forever you can't even see what the routes are or anything like that so i can't really just a simple play here this one sucks. We might we might end up going straight to uh actually I could do the sideline, right? That's the end zone. Let's see the sideline. See what the sideline look like. Here we go. Yes, this is better. This is actually better. All right. So let's see. So it looks like he chose the right because this was going to be a little hard to throw over here. I mean, he could, might have been able to fit that in. I mean, I don't think he's good of a quarterback to do that. So it looks like he chose the right uh, choice right there. Just dump it off real quick. I believe they motioned. Was that the guy that was motioning? Let's see. No, it wasn't. So they motioned the tight end. They, they try to overload. It looked like they try to overload once they motioned the tight end. Oh, no. So the tight end was on that side. They motioned them to see if they were in man or zone. Once nobody followed him, they figured they're in zone. Go back to overload this side, and he knows he's going to have one-on-one -on -one here. That's what happened. Oh, easy, easy, easy. It was pretty, pretty good, pretty good play. Pretty good play. Easy for him to pick up. 13-yard uh, run, 22-yard pass. Let's see what happened here. Let's see. All right. Shotgun. This is uh, some, some quarterbacking here. Okay. Gets out of the pocket. So this is what we need. This, this Baker Mayfield. If we can get this Baker Mayfield, we can win the division, right? Right there, sitting in the pocket. Then he feels the pressure, rolls out. He knows where he's going with the ball. Now, here's the thing. You got – oh, you can't even see. Hold on. Let me bring this up close. There we go. Now you can see. Now you can see really good. You got OBJ completely wide open. And these are – the things that hopefully we get from Trask if he beats out Baker is he doesn't miss this part. This is what we need. We need someone that's going to know our our big guys are going to be open down the field. And he can't miss that. He can't miss that. But he rolls out. He takes an easier pass, which is fine. It's a 22-yard pass. Uh, and they're going to get the first down. It was second and eleven. I would have preferred for him to take that shot because it's probably a touchdown if he if he hits Odell. But it's it is a touchdown if he hits Odell. But it is what it is. You know, it's not a bad play, but that's that's fine. All right, let's see what else we got. They ran for twelve run no gain. Uh, now they're nine yard run penalty. All right, so here's another drive. They're going for a touchdown, thirty one yard pass. Let's see what what this is looking like. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like they got two tight ends, two wide receivers, which we're probably going to do stuff like that. Got some play action. So this is this is pretty much what I ex this, this this type of play right here is pretty much what I expect us to look like. To be honest, I expect us to run plays like this, simple plays, simple plays. Let's see if I can go back. Hold on. He's just checking it down. He has, this is, I mean, let me see. Now it doesn't look like it was supposed to come over here. It was supposed to, and here's the thing. As you can see, these wide receivers don't even turn around and see if he's going to throw the ball. In other words, it was made, it, it was made, it was supposed to only be a screen and that's it. It was supposed to only be a screen. That's it. And it worked and it was a big play, man. Big play. Great call. Great call. But the reason why I bring, I, I, I'm bringing that up is because seven yard run, five yard run, 12 yard pass is because what you want to see is you want to see plays where they're asking Baker to figure it out and make a decision. Right. Little bootleg. I mean, he dumped it down again. He dumped it down again. Could have maybe had a touchdown. Could have maybe had a touchdown. Is this a run? Let's see. Twelve, five yard run, twelve yard pass, five yard run, five yard run, penalty, uh, one yard run, touchdown. Bacon pass short. Uh, let's see. It's going to be a short pass. So, man. So that's what we're seeing so far from, from Baker. I mean, this is really, really easy. Uh, easy passing by Baker. Honestly, I mean, we can't survive like that. The only reason why they're surviving is because of everything else. One yard run uh five yard run seven yard run uh look at this uh nine yard run uh 12 yard run uh 13 yard run 20 yard run uh like that that's why they're surviving that's why they're scoring that's why they're being productive even though baker really hasn't even took no shots or anything yet he's just really all we've seen is check downs so here we got a turnover on downs let's see what this looks like Kick off 42 yard pass. Okay. Is this another check down that goes big or let's see. It's going to be play action. It looks like he's going to take that. Oh my gosh. It was a big, big play, but. Man, and here's and here's Odell Beckham, and again, I mean, that's that could be a throw to Odell Beckham. That should have been the throw. Should have been Odell Beckham down the field. Um, then right here, and and, and what up, real OG in the building? And what I'm afraid of, to be honest, what I'm afraid of is this is what we've been hearing. We've been hearing that Baker is really not. I heard that Baker's throwing down to Mike Evans down the field. But then when I hear that story from another point of view, we're hearing that it should have been a sack, but he threw the ball. In other words, he's holding on to the ball too long that he would have been sacked. And then he throws the ball to Mike Evans. So he needs to be able to process. He needs to be able to process this a lot faster. He throws it here, which it looks like it almost could have been picked. Like, it looked like he tried to jump it, and he almost picked it. I don't know if he had his hands on it or what, but <sighs> kind of scary. But that's a 42-yard pass, thirteen, another 13-yard run, one-yard pass, two-yard pass. 
I mean, let's let's let's. It's a one yard pass, but let's see if there was other things there that he could have did, or what kind of play they asked him to run. See, and look at this. They got two tight ends, one wide receiver, and a, like a two running backs. Like these are aren't formations we can stay in. Like we have to have at least two wide receivers, uh, and most of the time, hopefully three. Like our wide receivers is our strength. We gotta have a lot more wide receivers than two tight ends. So I'm assuming he's gonna pass it here because it's gonna be a one yard pass. Or in, maybe not even that. So he's just gonna oh my gosh. Yeah, see, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. Cause look, these are let me see what these wide receivers. <sighs> these are NFL throws. These are NFL throws. Everybody was open. Maybe not him. He was definitely open. He is definitely open for a touchdown. These are NFL throws. These are throws he should be making right here. <sighs> I don't like this. Let's look. Let's rewind it. Turn around looking. Why is he not throwing? Hold on. Why did I not pause it? There you go. Right. Boom. Right here. He should be passing here or passing over there. Definitely should be throwing that to him right here. The, I mean, out of all the routes, I mean, if he hits, see, even him, he's er, he's he's open early. He's open very early. He's open semi early, and he's open at the right time. That's that should be touchdown. But he doesn't want to make the throw. He doesn't want to make the throw, so he goes to run, and then he decides to just pass it. This is not what you want to see. And this is his good game, guys. This is his good game. Oh, what happened? Go back. Go back. All right. He's looking over here. That's the concept. I mean, hello, hello. I don't understand what what happened. Okay, you got him right there. Okay, good. You recovered there. You missed the throw. He doesn't. He doesn't want to make. I don't know if he doesn't have confidence in his arm. This is what what week is? This is week five. I don't know what week it was that he got his injured shoulder, his shoulder injured or what. But he looks like he don't want to throw down the field or not even th that's not even down the field. Like looks like he doesn't want to really try to make a turnover. They ended up turnover on a passing complete. Let's see. Let's see what this play is. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. Fourth and two, only need two yards. Oh my gosh. In this, oh, he dropped. Oh my gosh, Odell. Oh my gosh, Odell. How'd you drop that, Odell? So that's not on, that's not on, uh, Baker Odell messed that up. That's that was terrible. I'd stop throwing to you too, buddy. Uh, let's see another touchdown drive. Uh, six yard run, two yard run, six yard run, minus one yard, seven yard run, five yard run, sixteen yard pass. God, they didn't ask him to do nothing. These are more of the formations we should be running. Nice little check down right there. Oh, tell me you got that. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Good throw. A good throw. 
took a deeper route. Could have had a shorter route, took the deeper route. Not mad at it. Let's see. Okay. Not mad at it. Let's watch that one more time. He's uh. I'm trying to see what is he looking at. I, it's hard to see that he was looking at him, but maybe he was watching the safety the whole time. Maybe he just decided to watch the safety to see if he if the safety comes down, and if not, he was going to throw it there. I kind of don't like that if that's what it was. Again, I want I want to have a I want to have a quarterback that can read the defense. Eight yard run, one yard run, run for no gain, touchdown. Uh, Browns up the middle, extra point. All right, nine yard pass. Let's see this nine yard pass. All right, good. I like the formation. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. So you got a tight end over here. He's looking left. Right. Oh, it's a screen. Okay. So he's just playing the part. Playing the part. All right. Nothing, nothing to see here. Just simple screen. Passing complete. Let's see the next one. It's passing complete right here. Like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, simple, simple read. You see everybody back. See, he hesitates to throw. He's, he's hesitating to throw the ball. You could have, if you would have seen the right side first, you could have threw the ball right away. Now it's third and one. So second and one incomplete pass where he had plenty of places to throw. Another passing complete. Hold on. The second one is a second passing complete. You only need one yard, bro. Throw it. What? Oh, my gosh. Right? Oh, my gosh. What is he? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What is going on here? This is worse than I thought. This is his good. This is like he ended with a good, like, oh, this is, hold on. Let me, let me go back and look at something because this is crazy. Twenty twenty one. Seventy-one completion percentage and three hundred and five yards. Like this is one of his better games. All right, let's keep watching. Maybe he turns it on in the second half or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, and this is the third quarter. There's another touchdown drive. Three-yard run, six-yard pass. Let's check it out. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Keep doing this. All right.
What happened here? simple routes he's not watching the defense he's just knowing exactly where he's going with it eight yard pass They're really not. They're these 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 are plays where they're basically forcing him, bro. You only got two options. You, everybody's running this way. You, throw it to one of them, bro. Like they're they're forcing them. Six yard run, and then uh, Nick Chubb right tackle for fifty two yards touchdown. Good gosh. Four yard run, thirteen yard pass. Oh my gosh. His single high. He's looking that way. So he's is it a comeback? What the heck? All right. Comeback route. Um, 10 yard penalty, one yard run, one yard run, 11 yard pass. See another 11 yard pass here. Okay, blocking. Another NFL throw can be made here. I don't like I really don't like all these. Well, maybe him. Let's let's see this again. Again, and some people might think like, oh, it's easy to pause and say, oh, you should go here. Da, da, da. Well, if I know what the routes are, right, I should know where. Oh, if 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 he does this, this guy should be open. And let's see. Okay, so he ends up sitting right behind him. I don't know. That's kind of stupid. He looks like he's covered. So this looked like... I don't know if he was going to continue to go or if he's supposed to stop. Maybe Baker doesn't have the arm that people think. Like, I need someone to let me know when, was, when did Baker get hurt because I don't understand this. So he got his... So, technically, this was the right play, the check down, because then it looked like nobody was open there. Um, one yard run, minus 10 yard penalty, one yard pass. Uh, excuse me. Let's check out this. What happened here? Okay. Oh my god, it's it was another screen pass, bro. Like it's this has gotta be this is sad, man. Passing complete. It had to have been boring to be a wide receiver in this system. Or not necessarily the system, but having to play with Baker. Let's see. Oh, Baker's going down the. F Is that Odell? 
see that at full speed. I think that's number 10. I don't even think that's Odell, but. And now they're putting it. Okay, touchdown. Four plays, seven yard pass, touchdown. Uh, no huddle shotgun, big man for short pass, middle of the 71 yard touchdown. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Easy play. Off defense gave it to him. He saw it right away. Okay, that's good. Oh. Oh. It's got to be him, right? But this is Anjoku, I think. Did it? Yep, he gave it to him. <laughs> wow. So it should have been thrown. Yeah, that's why Odell was pissed, bro. Man. All right. I mean, Njoku made that play happen. Another 28-yard pass. And these are, and these are, you know, a screenplay, so... Wait, what the heck? I thought this was a 28 yard pass. Oh, why? Something's not registering. This is not the. There you go. Oh, maybe it's the. Baker made for a short pass to keep showing this. I don't understand why. There you go. Kick off. And then this. Okay. I don't know why I was messing up. All right. Let's see. Another screen. These screenplays, man. Eight-yard run, 24-yard run, seven-yard run, touchdown Browns. One-yard run, pass incomplete. He can't, oh. He got he doesn't seem like he really can throw somebody open. Three yard run, another punt, turnover on downs. So this is it right here. Six yard pass. They got a score on this drive. Let's see what happens. Crap, I did it again. All right, let's see. Good formation. He's so late, man. Beated it. I think should be out already, bro. I thought it was an incomplete pass. Where are we at? Okay, six yard pass. Third yard pass, two yard pass, 10 yard pass. Okay, they're all passes from here. Okay. Another dump off. Okay. 
Okay. Another dump off. There goes Odell by himself again. We got like four more, three, maybe three more plays for this game. Okay, finally, it's something that resembles a quarterback. He still didn't. He threw it to the wrong. It still should have been either this guy or this guy. He threw it to the hardest one. What about Odell? Was Odell open too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It should have been Odell. That was the easiest one. Especially you. See, that's the thing. Especially the fact that you checked it down twice. You got another. You know they're going to be watching that check. That should have been Odell. Made the catch, but that's not making it easy, man. It's not making things easy. And Joku was actually pretty good in this game. 31 seconds left. Clocks it. <sighs> 26 seconds left. All right. Oh my gosh. He just has no. He just has no sense. That should have been an easy throw to Odell going right to out of bounds. What's the. Hold on. Let's go back. Because they show. Let me see what the down and distance is. Oh, crap. just look second and 10 second and 10 26 seconds second and 10 with 26 seconds Odell catches boom out of bounds oh no, that's not that's not the play this must be the next one second and 10 26 seconds Look at this. I don't I don't know if he would catch Odell. He throws it over here. I don't I don't uh, cuz he's watching for that route. He, I will say that. He is watching it. This guy, he's but I don't think he could catch it. Throw it a little bit over here. Make Odell like, give it a little lob. Make Odell run for it. He ain't going to surpass Odell. <sighs> that should have been the Odell. Took the shot. Shot wasn't there to be taken. They don't need a field goal either. They need a touchdown. So they need to take shots. But 20 say they got plenty of time. He hits them there. It goes out of bounds. This is the third third down. He don't have he don't have any type of Yeah. All right, this is the last play of the game. Then we'll talk about what I saw. I mean, that's great. Oh, it's a Hail Mary. Basically maneuvered his way out of that. That was great, but hell Mary that goes to nothing. And that's the game. All right. Well, that uh was interesting. That was interesting. That was that was uh, Baker Mayfield with the Browns having a good game against the Chargers. 
Uh, Baker Mayfield's stat was, excuse me, he attempted 33. He completed, I'm sorry, had 32 attempts, 23 completions out of 32 attempts, 71.88 completion, 305 yards, two touchdowns. Very great looking stats. Really did not do anything in this game. A lot of screens, easy couple. Like when I say couple, I mean a handful of easy passes that uh that uh they asked them to make. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I thought this would be the best that we would see Baker Mayfield would would be some Browns film. And now again, I don't know some down the field shots from Baker was cringy worthy. Yeah, it, it didn't look good at all. Uh, the down the sh sh I don't know if you're talking about overall or if you're talking about uh, what, what, what we've been seeing in this game right here. But yeah, um, do you happen to know when he got hurt, when he hurt his shoulders, when he threw that interception and got hurt? Because I don't know. It just it seemed like he didn't trust his arm. He it seemed like he didn't want to make certain throws. Like several times we see him looking and was like, "Uh, no, nah, I don't want to try it." Uh, no, nah, let me just was Oh, here's the dump off. Like I don't know, man. I I I I'm not going to again. Listen. Everybody knows that I want Kyle Trask to be my quarterback. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay? I'm not on here trying to find bad tape on Baker so I can be like, oh, see, this is what we want. I don't care about not. I don't care about who I want as quarterback. What I care about is this team. And what I care about is this team being good. Okay. So I'm going to be honest about what I'm seeing. And again, I'm, I looked at the stats. I don't know any of these games because I don't watch the Browns. Right. But. I looked at the stats and I said, okay, he has 71 completion percentage, 305 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, a rating of 122. This got to be a good game. So let's watch this film. We put on the film and it's a whole bunch of check downs, a whole bunch of screen plays, a couple of little dink and dunk throws here and there. And that's pretty much it. I think he had one throw one or two throws where I was like, okay, that looks like an NFL throw. That looks like a decent throw. That looks like, okay, you know, I mean, it ain't something a, a backup quarterback couldn't do, but it just, and then that was a fumble. I don't even remember seeing that. Where is this at? I don't remember seeing that. What happened? What was that from? Look at this. Did you, did you, did you guys see that? Hold on. Where was this? I didn't see this. Oh, again, I don't know. He just fumbled the ball. But anyways, the point is, man, I, I, I definitely wanted to see some more stuff. This is where he fumbles it. This is where he. Oh, no, I guess not. Um, I wanted to see more stuff from this, but all, all you see here is someone that was protected by a run game. Uh, they, they weren't protected by the defense in this game. As you can see, the Chargers scored 47 points. But, I mean, the production here is completely on the run game. They did the screen pass off of the run game. Uh, it is interesting to see if Canales' system has more plays going to tight ends. I, I, I don't know, man. I kind of hope not because we have more wide receivers than anything. So let me see. Now we're going to go to the Baltimore game in week 11 of 2021. Because I tried to find a bad game. You know, you want to have a good, you want to see the good and you want to see the bad. So I decided to look at the Baltimore game, which is actually week 12, not week 11. It's actually week 12. They lost 10 to 16. Um, he went 18 out of 37. 48.65 uh, was his completion percentage. 247 yards. 
and one touchdown. That's not the one. I wanted the one with two interceptions. Um, they won one with two interceptions. I didn't, I want I want I want a bad game. So I want to see a game where the, he was off. He don't throw. Well, he threw thirteen interceptions. So whoa, wait, is that a game or is that Green Bay? So Cleveland versus Green Bay. He threw four interceptions. So should we do, since I, I'll let you guys, should we do the Green Bay game where I think we should do the three, the game, Green Bay game because it's 36 attempts, 21 completions, 58.33, 220. Okay, so check this out. We got, we got Baker Mayfield going against... against Detroit Baker Mayfield going against Detroit threw it 29 times had a quarterback a, a completion percentage of 51 176 yards one touchdown two interceptions or Green Bay throwing it 36 times 58 percent uh completion 222 yards Two touchdowns and four interceptions. Which one do you guys want to do? Which one do you want to do, Tampa Bay Rays fan? Anybody, which one? Green Bay or Detroit? Put it in the comment section, and we're going to check that one out next. Let me know, please, if you're still here. Like I said, I, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to bash him. I'm not trying to... I'm not... I, I feel like, you know, fans that make... um they create content for their for their for their favorite football team. All right, I hear you, Tampa Bay is very fun. I feel like some people that make content for their favorite football team, they try to sway people's opinions, right? They try to like for instance, they would make this video right here and be like, see, this is why we can't have Baker Mayfield. He sucks. Da 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 da. It needs to be Kyle Trask and feel like they're pushing it and making it and somehow doing their job to make uh, to helping Cal Trust from from getting the job. I don't. That's not why I do this. I do this to find out the truth. This is why I do this. I do this to find out the truth. Um, we might we might have to just go straight into into uh, Kyle Trask. Like I might have to change this and go straight into Kyle Trask. Because I'm going to put it in the comments. I mean, uh, in the what's it called? Because it's it's just day and night. It's just it really is day and night. So. um, Sorry. So, yeah, we're going to check out the Green Bay game. The Green Bay game was... And then after the Green Bay game, we're going to check out Kyle Trask, bro. Like, Because I want to show what I'm talking about. The difference. The difference. And what I see in Kyle Trask. You know, the difference of what I see in Kyle Trask. Uh, week game 15 week 16 so week 16 let's see if we can get into week 16 oh man six defensive backs for baltimore where are the games week is this week five week 16 No. Here we go. This is oh man, if that game was that, I'm afraid to see what this game looks like for reals. Cool. Well, it's pretty cool to be able Shut it. Sideline. <sighs> right touchdown. Kickoff, 7-yard pass. Let's see. 
All right, let's take a look. Baker. Okay. Now, did he have, I mean, he completed it. That's nice, but was there better? Let's see. Probably there. All right, let's move on. Seven yard pass, 54 yard pass. Okay, did he take a shot? Or did he just check it down? Let's see. All right, take a shot time. Oh my God, it's a screen again. See what I'm saying? This is what we've from so far. Oh my gosh, man. From week five to week 11, it has not looked any different. 12 yard pass. Spread out. Oh my God. I mean, yeah, that's pitch and catch right there. That's easy. Again, everybody should be able to do that. I don't even got to look at anything else. That's easiness right there. Uh, left guard for one yard. Okay. Extra point. All right. Here's his first interception. And it's the very first play of the next possession. First interception. Uh, And the next play of the... I forgot what I was going to say. All right, motion, play action. Okay. Oh my God. It should be easy. He's gonna... You. Yeah. 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 That's not. This should be easy. He's not. He's not watching. He's not watching whoever he. <sighs> Come on, man. He don't know how to take shots. He doesn't know how to take shots. There is no reason why this should be going over there the ball's going over here he has this guy wide open throw that over here bam catches it maybe keeps going who knows there's no sign that says take the shot and he's looking that whole time i don't maybe different i don't know i don't know that's that's terrible Look at this. That's terrible. Oh. Well, that's one interception. Oh, my God. The very next drive, he throws another interception. One-yard run, pass incomplete. Man. Throws right away. Doesn't give the player a chance to develop. Okay. <sighs> kind of didn't have any. any. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice play there. Again, these are, you know. <laughs> pitch and catch you know what i'm saying like the this this should be something that i'm like okay let's what else i should be saying what else i shouldn't be trying to sit there and harp on it like okay see how he did that good like this is like okay this is quarterback one-on-one -on -one stuff here got the easy dump off right here he's gonna try for Got it, got it, fit it in. He caught that, right? Fit it in, okay. Again, it seems like, come on, man. I mean, easy dump off for the first down, but he fits it in, okay. 
And even even here, you know, he might have him down there. But all right, can't can't be picky about that. It is what it is. Plays goes fast. Got to make a decision. He made a decision. He fit it in. Can't be mad at it. It is what it is. All right, moving on. Let's go. Ah, crap. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. Let's try this again. Play. Oh, he actually ran it. Hold on. I think we're on another play now. 11 yard run, 27 yard, 8 yard pass, pass incomplete. This is where we're at. Sorry. Man, they just 27 yard runs. They could run the ball, bro. Good play. I didn't. <laughs> I thought he completed that. I really thought he completed that. I really thought he completed that. I was just about to say, see what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not holding back. I'm not trying to be biased. I'm okay. Drop back, boom, hit the hit, hit his foot, let it go. He did everything right. Just not accurate. Oh, another interception. Very next play. Motion. Let me see all the mix started from the beginning. Where did he okay? He motioned there. All they did was back up. Okay. Okay. Oh, they got all the way up there for first down. So that means he's gonna force it, huh? Is that what's going on? Instead of getting the points, you're gonna force it. I mean, he's still going back. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the, he had the guy right there. See, that's. That's like. That's like the Jameis type of. Uh, what, what? How do I say this? You know how when Jameis would do something, it's like, bro, stop trying to be the hero. It would be like that, but Jameis did that because the team wasn't producing because the team as a whole wasn't getting anything done. So he would like, ah, we got to have something here instead of saying, you know what? We'll try again on the next possession. Jameis would get in this mode where it's like, we got to make it happen right now, right here. And it's like, no, we still got another quarter. We still got another possession. Relax. That's what that felt like right here. Like he tried to make something happen, but two things. One, Jameis is way more accurate than that. He don't miss. If he takes a shot at somebody, if he tries to make it happen, he might get the route jumped. You know what I'm saying? He might get baited. But if they don't jump the route, they don't bait him, the ball is going to the receiver he was throwing it to. Very rarely will Jameis miss like that. And this felt like he, this was just like, I don't want to say panic, but this felt like this was just a, uh, let me do something. Like it's just, I, I, I don't, I just don't understand it. Bad mechanics, bad everything. Oh my gosh. This is just the opposing team sitting back and saying, we know you can't throw the ball. So we just got to make sure we stop you from running the ball. And then when we get you in throwing, uh, throwing third and 19. Third and 19. When we get you in a throwing down, we're just going to fall back and let you panic and get throw the ball to us. 17-yard run, 11-yard pass. Let's see what this is right here. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to everyone who's watching. I see Tampa Bay keeps, uh, keeps commenting. Whoever that other person is that's watching, go ahead and comment, man. Let me know you're showing some love in here. 
Let me know what you think of what's going on right now. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays fan says, I think that was the year he played with an injured shoulder. Last interception of the game, Mayfield threw a duck. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to figure out when did he get hurt. Now, obviously, he was already hurt because this is like week 16 or 17 or something like that. But um, those the week five, when we watched the, the, the Chargers game in week five, I don't know if he was hurt there and he just like like even okay like if you tell me he was hurt and that's why he threw that ball like that I would I would say okay cool that's fine I'll I'll, I'll accept the excuse it is what it is but one the mechanic was terrible of him throwing it they looked like he he was his feet wasn't set he wasn't like it, he should have never threw that ball period whether his arm was hurt or not that's one Number two, I've I seen in week five where he's hesitating to throw the ball. Now he didn't hesitate to throw the ball right there, and that's and this is week seven and seventeen, and I know his his shoulder was already hurt by then. So that tells me in that week five film that we watched, it was him just hesitating because he didn't want to try to fit it in. He didn't want to try to make that throw, which is not good because you know. We're gonna need you to make some throws, bro. We're not. I, I know. Listen, our run game might be better this year. Ain't nowhere gonna be near what these how these guys are running the ball. So he is not going to be able to just sit there and let the run game help him out because that's not happening here. You're gonna have to throw that thing. Here, good decision. Probably easy call right here. Nice, nice play. Beautiful. See the easy, easy stuff. Easy stuff. 24 yard pass but I just don't see Dave Canellis <sighs> okay and I like this play a little there we go that's a good throw nice nicer play but you know good job oh Landry yep Landry Landry's still a dog man or he was a dog I don't know if he is now three yard run 14 yard pass. Okay, again, Baker's Baker's getting heated up a little bit. Let's see what's going. We all spread out. That's got to be easy. There you go. But see, this is what I'm worried about. Is this is just some easy pitch and catch here, bro? Like Green Bay's just giving it to him. Like, yeah, like let's see if you mess up. Pass short, Baker Mayfield. Now, see, this I like. This I like. Poised, poised bootleg roll out, right? Easy. Easy. This is easy right here. Baker can do that all day. Baker can do that all day. That's easy. Beautiful. Another interception. Eight yard run, three yard sack, 16 yard pass. We're watching all of Baker Mayfield's passes in this game, and then we're going to put on Kyle Trask, and then we're going to see the difference. That was, a, that was a dot right there. I like that. Let's see if he had a better option. He probably had a better. My, he, he wouldn't have been able to hit that. Mm. All right, so that was good. Probably it might have been the only only place he could go with it. I mean, he could have checked it down, but they need they needed to come up. So, and then the next play, and again, it almost seems like they're just waiting for him to make a mistake. Where are you throwing this? Yeah, I just. 
I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, that's only the end of the half. One yard run and the half. Okay, so there's more. So what it looks like, bro, it, it just looks like three yard run, five yard pass. It looks like what we're witnessing is what they would call lack of arm talent. Like this would be the definition of lack of arm talent. Now, again, again, he's hurt. So not having any zip on the ball could be because he's hurt, right? Obviously, his shoulders hurt. He's not having zip on the ball. So I, I'm, I'm going to forgive that. I'm not going to really think about that. But what I am going to think about, there you go. What I am going to think about is week five that we watched where they didn't ask him to do anything, anything. And it was, and it was a battle and they didn't ask him to do anything. And they lost 12, another 12 yard run. God, they can run the ball. Five yard run, eight yard run, 13 yard run. Shh. Short left. And there's passing plays. What I'm worried about the most is there, there's passing plays that are open in the, in the week five against the Chargers that he hesitated to throw and then decided not to throw and passed up on several routes. Like, let's see right here. See, okay, his shoulder's bad. That's why he threw it bad. Okay, so why didn't he throw to 88? Why was his decision there and not to 88? That's my problem with this play. That's He's going to clear it out. And here comes 88 right behind him. 81's clearing it out. And here comes 88 right behind him to make it easy. But he takes this throw. Can't hit him. He's blocked. Should have been to 88. That's literally what that scheme is for right there. That's literally what that scheme is for. 81 comes through and clears it out. Get whoever is here, he's going to clear it out. And if he doesn't clear it out and 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 they run with him, he's going to be open, which is what happens. And if they don't run with him, then he's going to be open. He's not. And then you have this wide open. I don't know if he can hit that, but that was open. It, these are just bad. There's too many plays. There's too many plays that should be made that are not being made. Way too many plays. Again, there's a difference of didn't have enough time. There's a difference of his arm was jacked up and he's missing them. I get that. If his arm was shoulder was jacked up and he's missing players, I get that. But when you're seeing on tape where it's like, that's not where you should have went with the ball. Why did you not make that decision? Why did you make that decision? It's too many, too many, too many, too many. I have here. Let's see. Take play action. Okay. And dump that off. Easy play. And, and, and again, great decision made it. But again, a real quarterback is hitting this guy. He's taking this. Jameis Winston is taking this shot right here. He's taking this shot. And if you can, if you hit it right, you can hit that. It's, it's a difficult, difficult pass. Don't get me wrong. It's a difficult pass. In other words, if we're in during the season and we got Kyle Trask or Baker Mayfield and we know they're not good, I'm not mad. Go ahead. Take what you can. Don't try that pass. If you can, you can't hit it. Don't try that pass. Forget it. Take this. So I'm not mad that he's taking this, but I'm just trying to show a real quarterback can hit this. That sounds so mean, but it's the truth. Let's let's 15 yard run. These boys can run, man. Passing complete shotgun. Is that a bad throw or was it just dropped? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rewind this. <sighs> 
T, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I feel like he could have took a shot for a touchdown. Down is this first and fifteen? I don't like this. Ten yard pass. Let's go. There you go. There you go. And that's another thing. I don't see him really go through his progression. I haven't seen him go through his progressions and then hit a, hit a play. I've seen him go through his progressions and be undecisive and be like, ah, no, ah, no, and then check it down. I've seen him go through his progressions and check it down, but I've never seen him go through his progressions and be like, uh, uh, oh, God, I'm over here, and boom. I haven't seen that yet. So it almost seems like the only time he makes a decent throw. Inside. The only time he's made a decent throw, I'm like, okay, see, that looks that's a starting quarterback type of throw right there. I like that. Whatever, whatever. Is when his first his first read is open. If his first read ain't open, he might be going through his progressions, but ain't nothing happening unless he's gonna check it down. We almost done with this one. Right open, 81. You got to hit that, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. We don't even need to. We don't even need to replay that. Let's just go to something else. There you go. Nah. It's hard. It's hard. To, I can't really say nothing about his accuracy right here because, again, he could be. It, it really could be the shoulder situation. So I can't really say anything about the inaccuracy. But the decisions, I can definitely still talk about. Like this, like. Oh, he got that. Okay. Okay. Oh, he shut me up. I didn't think he was going to get that. These guys can run, man. 12-yard pass. Okay. That's good. I like that. See? That's good. I like that. That was a good play. I like that. That was good. Decisive. Let me see if that's his first read, though. I don't know if that first read was real because he does make one read to the left, but I don't know if that's a real read or if he's just trying to. Yeah, that's that's not even a read. He's just he's just trying to move the linebacker. That's Jameis used to do that a lot. But see, again, this route, this route. You, you can hit those. If you can throw it good enough, you can hit those. I haven't seen him hit one of those. But, again, good read. Moved the linebacker just enough. Saw that there was enough space. Got it in there. Boom. That's that's good. But th 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 there's not enough of those plays. There's not enough of those plays. We need more of those plays. If that's all you can do, then we, we, we're going to be in trouble. Any action? You can't hit this? Like, maybe I'm tripping, but you can't hit this? Like...
my five yard, two yard sack, eight yard sack, five yard penalty. All right, we got a touchdown, 12 yard on, eight yard run, 11 yard pass. Shout out to everybody who's watching. We got four people watching. Give yourself a shout out, man. Where are you guys watching this from? Give yourself a shout out. We got another run. I mean, a pass. He just dropped. Oh, it's a screen. All right. Next one. 10 yard pass again. See, that's the only time. See that? He looks. Do I have enough space? He's going to look at. Who is he going to look at? Let me see. He's seeing. Okay. He can't cover both of them. Looks like he's looking at him, to be honest. But maybe he was looking at, at the flat. Like, okay, I can I can hit it. And then he looks to see how close he is. Maybe, and then he realizes, oh, okay, hit over here. Kind of looked like he was going to go straight here, but. But again, first read type stuff, you know. I mean, he got it. That's that's great. You can't be mad at these plays. You can't be mad at those plays. But again, you need more than that type, Those those little plays like that, man. We can't. We got to have more explosive plays than just little things like that. Shot. And to his defense there, you know, homeboy's not really getting open down the field. Incomplete pass, incomplete. Chubb. See, it's like he's scared to hit though. He can't hit him. See, these are the same type of not routes, but it's the same type of throw. If you can see this and this are the same type of throws he's going to have to make to hit that. And it seems like he can't hit him. And even when he tries to throw it, which he hardly does, but when he does try to throw it, he overthrows it because he's scared of it getting picked. Look at that. Hit him. And he, boom, he's gone. Same same throw here. Actually, it's not the same throw because this is more in the middle. So it, he could just sh straight to him. This is more diagonal. So it's, it's not the same throw. This is the same throw, though. Him throwing it this route. This route would be the same throw. That route would be the same throw. Right? Like he doesn't like he doesn't like throwing them, and you can see he gets nervous and th throws that way ahead. 30 yard run. Pass short. I see the touchdown throw by Baker. Let's see. Oh, wait. We just created an achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Five people watching right now. Five people. Give yourselves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most we've ever had going live. So I just wanted to do a quick break real quick and get a round of applause for everybody watching. Once again, man, if you haven't, comment in the comment section. Let me know you're here. Uh, let's finish this up real quick. Now, see, that's a now that's a throw. This is the first time that I've seen a throw that said, ooh, that was dangerous, but he got it there. That was a throw. And he even faked it. Like he was going to Landry. Fake. And then he throws it. That was good. Now, and I will tell you this as well. Not to, uh, 
I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Because they've been really, Green Bay has really just been sitting back and like, just throw it to us. You're going to throw it to us eventually, right? You're going to throw it to us eventually. So they've been sitting there like, he's going to throw it to us eventually. Him doing that pump fake, they bit on, he, he homeboy bit on it bad because he's been throwing bad throws. And look, pump fake. And then threw it back there. That was a good throw. That was a good throw. That felt like, yeah, that's a, that made me happy. Thank you. Gave me something. Gave me something. Something because there's five people. Wa oh, wait. Something because six people watching. There was six people. Went back to five, but there was six people watching. Uh, let me see. Uh, 10, 7, 21 revealed that he had a partially torn, but he uh, continued to play through it and re uh, re aggravated it in week seven. 10, 7, you said. 10, 7. So it was before. So it was before the uh, Chargers game. So that means we're going to have to watch another game. But first, we're going to watch. We're going to watch uh, Trask. Uh, tr game from trask and then you know uh cali books says i don't even like that route if he can't throw it then eliminate it a good offense coordinator calls plays that quarterback skill set yes the problem with that cali books because i agree with you a good co offensive coordinator will eliminate routes that the quarterback's not good at the problem with that cali books is if you're eliminating too many routes by week five or week six, guess what? The rest of the NFL's corners are only got like two routes, two or three routes, not even three, probably like two routes to sit on depending on what formation you're in. Does that make sense, Kelly Bucks? You get what I'm saying? If you're eliminating routes... People start watching game tape. They start seeing the formations that you're running, the routes that you run in certain formations. And because of that, now that you've eliminated one route here, you feel like he can't throw this other route, so you're not worried about that route. So now you've eliminated two routes, and now as a corner, you're sitting there sitting on two routes. That's dangerous. That's the only problem. It makes sense, and you're right, Callie. You're right. The only problem is that, well, that's that's the problem with that, is that, that now they get to sit on only two routes that they know you're only going to throw because you can only throw this or that route. That's the only problem with that. Tampa Bay says, is it me or I notice his arm delivery is taking a little longer to throw? It, I'm telling you, it doesn't seem like there's no velocity. But like you said, I mean, it could just be his shoulders. His shoulder. We're going to have to. Man. We're going to have to watch. Um, after we watch Cal Trask, we're going to have to watch him with the Rams. Because I don't like this at all. And I don't like. I don't like um, keep having to remind myself like, yeah, but his arm, his arm. I need to I need to watch him with the Rams so I don't have no excuse. Good throw. Good throw. Good decision. Good throw. Good decision. Two passing completes. We must be towards the end of the – since they're having them pass a lot. See, there's that route again. There's that route again. There's that route again. He can't hit it. He can't hit it. There's that route. That There's that throw I was telling you. That throw to the corner. Corner route. He can't hit it. Everybody's doing the same thing. Diving for it, trying to catch it. They can't hit it. He can't hit it. Cali Buck says he was throwing he was throwing strikes on the Rams. All right, we're gonna have to check the we're gonna have to check the Rams. It's already four, man. Gosh dang it. <sighs> I might uh, it's already four. I gotta go to bed soon. Oh, we didn't see the next.
That was a screen pass. And then he gets intercepted. Yeah, I couldn't throw that. All right. So there was six people at one time here. I still got three people here. So you guys let me know. Should we jump into some Kyle Trask or should we check out Baker and the Rams right now? Let me see if it's even possible for us to check out Kyle Trask. Excuse me. But let me know what you guys are thinking. Should we should we look at some Kyle Trask preseason games or or should we check out Baker? With the Rams. Should have reviewed the Rams tape. Your last tape is what matters the most and shows where you're at today. All right. So you want to go there? We can go there. We can go there. The Rams, let's see his Rams tape. We might as well, right? We might as well finish it out. He has four games. One, two, three, four, five games with the Rams. He has a 200, two 230 uh, yards. first 230 yards was his first game with the Rams so we're going to do his third game with the Rams which was 85% completion he threw 28 times with 24 completions 230 yards, 2 touchdowns had a rating of 124 so we're going to see. look there because I they, there's no need for me to look at bad we're going to look there. What week? What week was that? That was, where was I? 85, that's week 16. All right. This last tape of Baker. This is his last chance right here. After this, we got to look at some Trask and see if we can see some difference. This was definitely um, his best. What am I looking for? Rams. I'm looking for the Rams. Rams right there. This is definitely his best. Um, what happened to my screen? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Does that look like that? Oh, it's just that other one. Um, so what is this one, right? There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. All right. I had to fix that. Sorry. All right. What was I looking at? Um... So yeah, it's his best. It's his best game, best completion, most yards, tied for most yards, best ratings, most touchdowns. So this is definitely the best game. So let's watch this. Too late. We already decided to. You too late on it, buddy. I haven't watched this, so I'm interested to see what we have here. All right, let's 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 check it out. We'll check this out. It's only 28 passes, right? So we'll check this out, and then uh, then we'll get into trash real quick. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Let's get up here. Um, sidelines. Field goal. All right. Four yard run. Seven yard pass. Let's get into it. All right. All 
Okay, let's try this again. All right, let's see. Okay, that was the route. Okay, right away. That was the route. Okay. Okay, that was that corner. It was a short one. It was a short corner. Okay, I don't know why. I'm sorry. I got I ain't gonna lie. I got I am not gonna lie. I got a little excited. I got a little excited. Like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Cause I cause listen, the throw looked a lot more crisp. Everything looked better there. So I'm not gonna lie. That definitely got me a little excited. Everything right away. 16 yard run, five yard run, four yard pass. I ain't gonna lie. That I kind of like shocked me a little bit. All right. Let's see. Play action. Come on. Okay. I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at that. Good decision. Good decision. Good decision. Four yard run, five yard penalty, run for no gain. Uh, run for no gain. Eight yard pass. All right, as long as you guys keep commenting, I will take the comment off the screens. We keep commenting so they know. I got you. Well, I can leave that on because you, 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 you don't need to see nothing there. All right. So, again... He's taking all the short stuff, but uh, so far I'm not mad at it because that's the only thing that seems to be there right now. They're, 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 I mean, he could have hit, he could, he could hit that. That's definitely open, but. Yeah, uh, he's he's sitting. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this either. I'm not mad at it either. I like that. I like that right there. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Interception. Jeez, he Russell had such a bad. 322 yard pass okay cool let's see if this is a big pass let's see if this is a big pass i want to see him throw down the field uh i've noticed that about baker he looks at his short routes first yeah i'm hoping that's not I'm, i want to i want to have big big yards big plays let's see boom roll out Oh, yes. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. 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 Go back. I want to see it again. Show it again, baby. Yes. Something. What happened? What happened? 22 yard pass. So I don't want to see. Come on, next one. This is what I wanted to see. Right here, baby. Hit that. He could have hit this guy too, but he took this one. I like it. I love it. I love it. And it's a strike. Yes. Now, now, this is not the same. It, it almost is the same throw, be, but it's a little bit different because they have him rolling out that way. And that has been the key to getting these young quarterbacks to make these NFL throws easier for them. Now, obviously, Baker ain't that young, but it seems like he needs that help for that. But that's fine. I don't care. 
Dave can that's what you can say with Dave Canellis. Like, hey, you know what he needs you to do? Put those in the plays. Easy. Easy. Touchdown. Okay. Now, was there anything else that could have happened there? Um, it's starting to trip. It's not letting me go back. Uh interception. Dang again, bro. Man, Russell Wilson was bad last year. Can't wait to see what, what they do with Sean Payton. Play action. Oh, this is easy. Oh, my gosh. See, this is what I want. Now, if we look like this, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. His strength is throwing the rollouts. Yeah, for sure. Easy. Should have been a touchdown right here, though. But still is a touchdown. Nope, it's not. Should have been a touchdown to him, though. Should have been a touchdown to him. This is where... This is where... If Baker understands what everything is for, Baker waits this throw out. He lets him continue to go upfield, making him have to choose him or him. And the longer that he chooses, the closer he's getting to an easy touchdown throw. So he has to choose. But that's Baker. That's supposed to be Baker understanding the play and knowing what your the 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 predicament you're putting the defense in he's supposed to hold on to that ball keep rolling out keep running keep running with him side run side 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 run. keep running with him he's supposed to keep running up and it's supposed to be this guy's supposed to get stuck between him and him and the longer that he takes the 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 closer both of them are going to get to an easy touchdown throw and and once he does decide it's a touchdown throw but he throws it right away he throws it right away which gives him the opportunity to to make a play but he completed it but that's like like i said that's if if baker understands what that play is doing he already gets a touchdown what is this? Acres right in touchdown. So they ran another touchdown by Baker. By Baker, one yard run, seven yard pass. It's just a lot of the same stuff, though, bro. Like easy plays, man. That's that. That's that route. That's that throw that I was saying. He made it. So yeah, he's definitely looking better. He's definitely looking better. I, I I will say that. I will admit that. He's definitely looking a lot better with the Rams. And a 17-yard pass coming up. 17-yard pass. Going through his progressions. Not mad at it. Checked it down. I'm not mad at it. Again, went through his progressions, and usually when he goes through, his, I don't know if maybe I, I've missed it, but I, I may I still haven't noticed him going through his progressions and then throwing it. Every time he goes through his progressions, if he throws it, it's it's to the check down. But I, I I'm not mad at that one because I felt like that's that's all he pretty much did have was the check down on that one. Another check down. But he, he had someone here. And I feel like he definitely had him. I think I think he just don't like being in the pocket. We're gonna have to roll him out a lot because he's he's just the time in his head is going off so fast, too fast. It's going off too fast. It's going off too fast because he had homeboy there and he was looking at him. He has homeboy there. He has that route. It's there, but you gotta. First of all, he's not anticipating it. You gotta anticipate it, let it go. Look, that's open. He's looking at him. If he hasn't seen what he's doing and he's looking at him, see, he's looking at him 
and he's already going. He knows where he's going with it, and that's 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 what we were seeing with the with the Browns as well. What are you looking? What are you staring at him for? The only reason you should be staring at him, this guy right here, is if you're trying to throw it to him. That's it. There's no reason to see what he's doing if you're just gonna check it down, unless you're trying to make this guy think, you know, come on. But that don't make sense. What you should be doing is looking either directly at him or something. I don't know. I, but this was open. But he took the check down instead. This was open. He could have threw that there too. But I would, I would rather take this play or the check down. And if you hold on to the ball enough, no, you're not gonna get him. Oh, you could have got him though. If you hold on to the ball and you see the pocket. So in his mind, he just don't want to get hit. He don't like being in the pocket. I wouldn't necessarily say he panicked and threw a check down. I would just say that he doesn't trust the, the O-line when he's in the pocket. So he tries to get rid of the ball. He wants to get rid of the ball as soon as possible, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you're not utilizing your plays to the full ability if you're going to just do that every time you're in the pocket. Play action. It's a screen. He seems more comfortable. Definitely seems more comfortable when once he's in space. He's in the pocket. Hmm. Not mad at it. He stood in the pocket. He couldn't. Well, they didn't give him a check down, so he could check it down. <laughs> he could have took this. This could have took that right there. Would have been a tough throw. He might have. He might have had a chance at that. Yeah, I can't be. I'm not, not. I'm not too mad at it. I'm not too mad at it. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. That's good. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. Definitely, again, definitely a lot more happier with, with what we're seeing here. Ooh. Oh, there's just either miscommunication or something. Yeah. Miscommunication or something. Uh, he should have waited. He panicked. Seeing him on the Rams is why I knew the Buccaneers were going to get him. His game against the Raiders told me a Bucks would grab him. Uh, yeah, he's not comfortable in the pocket. Just let him roll out. You have to let route develop. Yes. Trash said that he trimmed his weight down to be more mobile for Canellis system. Facts. Yes, 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 yes. They should just roll him out consistently. It gives him the options to run. Defense will have to be on their toes. Yeah, yeah. But but once again, it's it's not it's easier said than done than having a whole bunch of you know plays like that. Then you start just blitzing from one side, and now you're rolling out right into the blitz. There's always counters to everything. You know what I'm saying? There's there's always a there's always reasons. Like fans do that a lot. Oh, why don't we just keep doing this? Keep doing this. There's always reason why you don't you can't just keep doing it. You know. But but I, I hear you, and you definitely uh, onto something, and I think they think so, too. Ooh. <laughs> oh, touchdown. Let's see that again, baby. Let's go. See, we could win with this, Baker. We could win with this, Baker. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Ah. We could win. With, see, we could win with that Baker right there. Our defense, we just got to have those type of plays, man. I'm I'm worried we don't we don't exactly know what our plays are going to look like, but man, 
I hope. I hope it's close to something like this. It sounds like, right? Like, from what we've been hearing from camp, what we've been hearing from... What happened here? Hold on. We got to go back. What we've been hearing from camp, it should be... Our place should be something like this. A lot of routes crossing around and... Is this another screen? He just threw that away. Okay. Nice, smart. Okay. All right. 16-yard pass. Ooh, okay, okay. Do your thing, Bake. Do your thing. Like that. Like that. Hopefully he saw that guy right there and just waited for him to pass him. I like that. Good play. Good play. See on this, I feel so much better. I am not going to lie. I feel so much better. We can win with this Baker. We have to have plays like this though. We have to have these time we have to have these kind of plays, man. Okay, little screen. Nice. Yeah, I know we definitely will have that in our Arsenal. From what we've been hearing, they're going to roll him out a lot. Yeah. The, oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, Big Bake. Got to call him Big Bake on this one. Look at this. In the pocket. He has someone here, but he's not looking that way. He's looking over here. He's about to throw it. He holds it. He's not quite sure. I don't know why he didn't. I mean, I think he's these guys are open. You can you can fit that in there. But he pulls it down. Tries a little bit more time. Look for someone else. He's about to throw the check down. And then he decides, oh, I'll give it to this dude. Better throw. Did he complete it? Yeah, he completed that. So, I mean, again, we saw that hesitation that we talked about um, that we talked about in the Cleveland. We saw that hesitation. And again, it, you, you're right, Callie. It seems to be when he's in the pocket, he's a different quarterback. That's what it seems to be. When he's in the pocket, he's a different quarterback. He hesitates more. He, he, uh, he second guesses himself. He uh, wants to get rid of the ball right away. He's a different quarterback when he's in the pocket. So that's for dang, that's for darn sure. But at least right there, even though he still made the better the better play, so that was good. Yeah, see, see, could have been a better play, right there. Yeah, he definitely. He blinks out when he's in the pocket for sure. Because this, he's not, he's not worried about none of this. Look, these are all valuable weapons. These are all, look, this guy, look at him over here by himself. Like, these are all valuable weapons. And this is scary because it's really going to be like, yeah, this is, look at this. This is all, if he just sees him, he's to the races. Um, Yes, from what we're hearing, they're going to roll him out. Uh, he's showing he can throw from the pocket. It just scares me. He shows happy feet. Yes, exactly. Last TD by Mayfield just shown now. That arm slot wasn't as long. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's probably looking down at the pass rush instead of trusting his O-line. And, and we have no idea how o our O-line is going to end up looking. So he might not trust them at all starting in the season. Uh, where are we at? Five yard run, 20 yard pass. Let's see. I'm actually excited. I'm getting excited. Play action. Oh, it's just a thing. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have some of those too. Four yard run, 12 yard pass.
Oh, hold on. We got Buck Crazy Skull Gang in the. It's a kid friendly show. It's a kid friendly show in the building. Skull Gang! <laughs> but you know what time it is, Buck Crazy. You know what time it is. All right, let's continue. I got hold on. We got to rewind because I mean, got open, but let's see the rest of the peoples. Okay, so if if he rolls out to the side where the schemes at, where everybody else is at, he sees the field better, right? So, I mean, that's obviously the right play. Everybody else is there, so that's good. Another good one. Good decision. Middle two yard touchdown pass up the middle. Oh, that's a two yard touchdown. Uh, interception, field goal, four yard run, 10 yard run, 21 yard run, run for no gain, 11 yard pass. No worries, no worries, but crazy. He doesn't look bad, man. Some stuff is kind of scary, but I think we have a fighting chance. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would say, no worries, but crazy. We good, we good, baby, we good. Don't we good? You know what it is. Um, I agree, Cali Bucks. I, I agree. I agree. If, if we have the right, we can win with Baker. With this Baker, we can win. Unfortunately, this Baker still takes a lot of care, a lot of caring, a lot of babying. We have to have the right plays that will help him be able to produce. He's in the pocket. I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad. That's a good That's a good play. And he was going with them all along, obviously. But hey, that was the right, that was the right play right there. Five yard run, two yard run, two yard pass. Uh, in the pocket. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the problem, though. This wins you games or it will cost you a game. Look at this. You, this is touchdown, bro. This is what you want. This is what you want. And then you have this right here. Let's see. You got to hit that. This is touchdown. Taking a shorter seat. That is, that's where our, that's where we're going to find the limit. That's where our ceiling's at. That's where our ceiling's at. You get what I'm saying? That's where he's capped off. Like, all the easy stuff, boom. That home run hit, you got to see that, bro. You got to see it. You got to hit it. You got to hit it. That's what's, that's what's going to stop him from having a Geno Smith type of season. Period. Period. That's the best way I can say it. Not taking that throw, not being able to make that throw. Not, I don't know if he didn't see it. I don't know if he decided he don't want to try it. But that is the difference between just coming in and being another guy that just, you know, another backup that's trying to be a starter again. And that's the difference between that and resurging your career and being Geno Smith. Is Geno Smith is going to take that shot and hit it. Look at his hands are up. I'm free. We got the coverage. There's one safety high. The safety's all the way in the middle of the field. He ain't getting me. This is touchdown. This is touchdown. If not, you still got this guy. If not, you still got this guy. He's in no man's land. He's in no man's land. He might be able to peel back and get this, get this ball, but he is nowhere near this, and this is touchdown.
That's the difference. That's the difference between coming over here to the Bucks and, you know, having a maybe we still win the division and you don't get a second contract and we move on or we win the division and Buck fans and Todd Bowles and Jason Light are like, well, let's take a look at, you know, Baker. Let's let's see if maybe we want to give him a little, little contract. Now, I doubt it. But that's the difference of having that Geno Smith. Oh, I just resurged my career. You got to see that throw. You got to hit that throw. That's it. Plain and simple. He locked on a target. He stopped scanning. Roll out. See, they're playing a lot of one safety high, bro. If they're playing one safety high, you got to be able to hit down the field, bro. Look, again, one safety high. Takes the short. That's fine. Everybody peeled back. That's fine. One yard run, one yard run, minus one yard pass. Let's see. And then a field goal. Yeah, it's a screen. All right, we got some more. It's a fourth quarter. Eight-yard run, 19-yard pass. Dang, they scored 51 points in this game? Gee, Willikers. This is the difference. This is the difference between this this play right here what you're seeing this is the 49ers problem they have plenty of quarterbacks they can do all this plenty of quarterbacks they can make this throw they don't have any quarterbacks that's going to throw over here for the touchdown throw over here for the touchdown that's the 49ers problem. They don't have anybody to hit the deep ball all the time down the field when the play's called to be hit. That's the difference. That's the difference between uh, Jarrett Goff and Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford's hitting down the field when it's open, and it's open a lot, especially if you hit down here enough it's going to start being completely open down the field because they're going to start putting more resources down here. That's the difference between you're good and you can win games and now you're a contender in the playoffs. That's the difference. Baker has to... Baker has... I don't know if, again, like you said, he don't trust his O-line or what. But you, we got to take more shots than this. We got to take more shots than this. Passing complete. Let's see. Oh, come on. Come on. See, again. Again. He's off of it. He don't want to take the shot. This is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, it was behind him. Saw it too late. Saw it too late. <coughs> he's looking like he's... I bet you anything, the coach probably told him, listen, we need you to take a shot right here. Take a shot right here. And they're probably already up. But they're probably trying to evaluate Baker. They're probably evaluating Baker and like, hey, like, take a shot, bro. We want to see you take some shots. Take a shot. And he's looking like, okay, I know they want me to take a shot, so I'm going to look like I want to take a shot, but really I'm not going to take a shot because I'm going to look. I'm going to look. 
and I'm looking. And if you're looking, you should see that he's about to get open. You're going to go take that shot. Give him a one-on-one -on -one chance. But you start looking here, which is nice, but... Threw it behind him. Maybe he saw it too late or what? That's the Cleveland Browns Baker Mayfield right there. Three-yard run, four-yard pass. We got to be able to run, bro. We cannot. We got to be able to run the ball because with Baker, bro, mm-mm. Um, there's there's no way there's enough plays. <sighs> See, in the pocket. All right. Fire your penalty touchdown rounds left. Extra point. Cheese. Another field goal and then another touchdown. Five yard run, three yard run, field goal, touchdown. 11 yard pass. The heck? 11 yard pass. Is this. Why is it showing Denver, bro? There you go. I guess this is Denver. They messed up, I guess. And I guess that's it. All right, so we just finished. Is my, looks like starting to lag. Is my voice starting to mess up? Is, is my voice messing up or does it sound good? Check, check, check. Check. Okay, so still sound good. Excuse me. Um. Let's see. Uh, throw the pile. He locked on Brown Mayfield. Right. I wonder who running back two is going to be. Uh, it's going to be uh. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Keyshawn Vaughn. We'll see who it is, who it'll be, but I'm pretty sure it'll be Keyshawn Vaughn. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's go into preseason. That's the only film we have besides the four throws in freaking Atlanta. I think it was like four throws. Um... Check out some Kyle Trask. This this definitely has been this has been a really good um, film session for Baker Mayfield for us to for us to get a good sense. I, I feel like we got a good sense of who Baker Mayfield is, um, and only took a few a few tapes, bro. That's that was yeah. So let's see. All right, that was us, right? Because when I saw the bucks. Bucks and dolphins. <clears throat> All right. So now let's get to Cal Trask, man. <clears throat> Punting. Three yard run, minus nine yard penalty, four yard pass. All right. All right. 
We got someone open here. We got Scotty right here about to be open. He might hit this guy. He might get open depending where he's going. That route, the route that we talked about, Baker, that throw right away completes it. Right away completes that route. Minus four yard pass. And we just saw that happen. Minus four yard pass. It was a screen that didn't do nothing. Two yard run, 12 yard pass. All right. Let's see. Looks like he might get open somewhere. Underneath, he'll be running. He'll pass everybody, so you probably can hit him underneath. He can probably cut in front of him, cut in front of him and get the ball if he's doing that. Oh, Charles looks like he's looking at him. Oh, takes a nice route underneath. Oh, and he got the first down. Nice. Okay. Good. Run for no gain. 21-yard pass. And this is all in the pocket. He's looking maybe to take a shot. Yep. And this is what I'm talking. This this is what I'm talking about. See, listen. No. No biasness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to. It's just this is this is what quarterbacks do. This is what quarterbacks do. This is what quarterbacks do. Run for no gain, eight yard run, two yard run, four yard run, touchdown Buccaneers. Blaine Gabbert. Oh, this was Blaine Gabbert the whole time? I was going to say. You're right, 11. It is Blaine Gabbert the whole time. Throwing strikes. Okay, so this is Blaine Gabbert. I was gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, yo, uh, Kyle Trask. Okay, here's Kyle Trask. Now we got Kyle Trask. Now Kyle Trask is in. Shoot, rewind. Okay, look like you got that corner route here. Hit him. You saw that? That was good. All right. That was good. Two yard run, passing complete, Kyle Trask. Play action. Oh, he saw him. This is what I'm talking about. Take the dang shot. Take the shot over here. Take the shot over there. Now, it was super short. Super short. Scotty had to slow down for that. That was super short. Well, let's see if this is a passing play. Steps up. We're going to check the ball right there. Nice little. All right. Gets the first down. That works. That works. 22-yard uh, pass. He knows it's man. Okay. Almost got baited into that, 
but I think that was more Tyler Johnson protecting the wide receiver, the quarterback. Two yard run, fifteen yard pass. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a screen. Okay. Vaughn. Okay, seven yard pass. So it's almost like they're just asking them, can you execute? Can you execute? Yeah, I saw it. I noticed it late. Let's see. Get the check down. Maybe could have had him right there. All right. Five yard run, seven yard run, three yard run, two yard run, touchdown, Buccaneers, Kijan Vaughn up the middle. Okay. Interception. Kyle threw the interception. Run for no gain. Interception. Let's see what happens here. He's going to get baited. Oh, this is that one play. Yeah. Got to check it down. Homeboy tackled him and ended up having the ball in his hand. <clears throat> Six yard pass incomplete. Boom. And it's just incomplete. Let's see. And here's the thing. Our as you can see our routes, our routes are a lot more a lot more uh complex. You know what I'm saying? Like they're asking, okay, you gotta see what's going on here. Like it's it's a lot more twisted out instead of just everyone run one way and so it should be easier. Let's see. Quick decision. Could have had Scotty. I don't think he had any other time for that. <laughs> but quick decision. And that's the other thing, man. He's been behind some bad lines where it's like we really can't even see because he has to. He, when we're sitting there saying that that Bakes getting rid of the ball too fast, when we watch Trask, he's getting rid of the ball too fast too because we can't. We don't have a chance to see anything develop. Like see right here, like he has a good time in the pocket. Oh, he didn't. I thought he was going to hit somebody. Gosh, dang it. That's incomplete again. Had time in the pocket that time. Shit. He fumbled that? Uh, incomplete. Okay. That's right. Third and 10. We're just going to run the ball. Uh, run, punt, half. Let's see, 12 yard run, four yard run, 29 yard pass. I think this is where Kyle Trask started getting going, getting on. <clears throat> Let's 
started opening up real good pass yeah real good pass Started opening up right there pass for no gain Once we started throwing down the field. No pass for no gain. Did the little screen crap. Seven yard pass. It's good. Good good decision, good pass. <clears throat> oh, is this that touchdown? Yeah. It's that dot right there. Great pass. Let's see the right side. He had uh, whoever was super wide open. But these are the well, thing is, when you take a shot, you're going to have you got to take the shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to you know where you know where your shots are at. And you're going to take the shot with 83 with safety right there. Or you're going to take the shot with nine that's on the other side of the field. You're going to take that shot. You took that shot. And he, he I mean, beautiful ball. Beautiful ball right there. Extra point. One yard pass. 19 yard pass. <clears throat> See, Kyle is executing our plays. He's executing. He's executing and he's not scared in the pocket. He is a pocket quarterback. So he definitely has that on him. Pass incomplete. When they ask, because they're going to, they're gonna, they're gonna ask, uh, they're gonna ask Baker to do things in the pocket. And this, uh, that's where he's gonna succeed. I see he could add him open. He could, if he had, you know, somewhere to step up in the pocket, he could have bulleted into him, but. This should have been the guy. But I don't think he had time. Yeah, because he got pushed. Yeah, he ain't, yeah. He had to let it go. If he was looking, yeah, it's still because he's right there. That's not enough separation yet. He has to let it go right now. Oof. Oof, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. I just got shot again. I just took that shot again. I don't know if he would have been past him. It's kind of hard to see if he would have passed him. I'm not mad at the decision. I'm not mad at the decision that he made because he, you know, that's that's the problem that I have with Tom Brady, right? That's the problem that I have with Tom Brady. Tom Brady, you know, obviously he stopped taking shots down the field last year, but he always went for the matchup instead of, where the the play design is over here the play is designed to get somebody open over here and that's what he was focused on but he didn't have no time and he just threw it before anybody could actually get open plus everybody got pushed around he got pushed over here they got pushed around so they they pretty much messed up the play he'll go one more quarter two yard run 26 yard pass
Looks like he got a little step on him. Looks like he might be looking over there. No, he probably gonna get right here. Oh, that's anticipation. That is anticip. What a that's a throw. Good throw. Great anticipation. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He falls out the hand. Barely about to turn. Turns around. Boom. Woo! That's a good throw. Great anticipation right there. Great anticipation on that throw. We actually did the end around. Five yard pass. Man, I can't wait for training camp and all this stuff to start. Ooh, see, could have had homeboy right here. They could have had him. But that was but if you notice he's the guy in motion. He's the guy in motion. So it's kind of like the play was meant to go there for an easy completion. Second down. He's just trying to do his best. <clears throat> he's just trying to do his job. I would have wanted it to go to the other guy, but he's still, and that's the difference is he's young. He's not, he's Trask still has, hasn't played in the NFL. So it's not like Trask is going to, is going to be under center and being like thinking to himself is, is, is he going to be open? Trask's mind's not going to be like that. Trask's mind is going to be like, okay, this play is, meant for this to be open hike is he open is he open is he open not knowing then he's gonna go later on and look on the film and be like oh man so and so was open but right now his focus on is to do the right thing with this play that's meant to be to be executed you know what i'm saying and it's that's that's our ceiling with him that's the ceiling with him now the the upside though is when it is a play that's called for to take a shot Trask is not going to be quick to just check it down. This play was called to take a shot. I'm going to watch this play and see if that shot is there to be taken. And if it is, I'm taking the shot. That's what Trask is going to bring to us. Wish she would have hit that. But... Third down. Got it right there. I would have wished he would have took that, that shot, though. Not that shot, but that corner. See this? Now, again, as a young quarterback, I don't know if you understand this. You probably should, but you see that? Oh, he's on the wrong side. I can hit that. Open. I can hit that. First down right there. But you took it easy. Nothing wrong with it. Took the easier throw. Got some yards. We punted. One yard run, six yard pass. We almost done here. See who gets the keys. Yeah, we should see who gets the keys. Yeah. Easy yards. Caltrass sacked. Go, go, go. 
the heck is going on here? What the heck was going on there? What happened to those routes? Oh, yeah, they jacked up. I don't know what was going on there. That was that was ugly. Travis got sacked. This is was supposed to be the field goal to win the game, right? Hmm. Why did I watch the run? Eleven yard run. Okay, sorry. Six yard pass. Tire. Could have hit him. Could have hit him. Let's see that again. Yeah, it might. May, may, maybe. Yeah, maybe he could have jumped that. Maybe this was the safer. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, it was probably the easier, way easier throw. Because he probably could have jumped in there. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Five yard penalty. Sack penalty. Five yard pass. Break down. See? Same thing. Could have went through here. Could have went through here. Could have went through there. I would have preferred that. Minus five yards. And then a minus 10 yard penalty. Was another bubble screen or something? Oh, yeah. Nine yard pass. Third and twenty one. Huh. Checks it down. Let me see something. Let me see that one more time. Because we need a lot of yards. Was there a play to be made or was that smart to check it down? Let's see that one more time. So, no, that route wasn't there. Maybe this route. Maybe, maybe this route. But I, 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 he might have been looking over here because that's probably what that's where I would have looked. If I know he's gonna do a little small little double move, looks like he was just watching how far are they back, and then if they're f back far enough, check it down. That could have been that could have been taught to him. I don't know. Let's see. Third and twenty-one. It was just a crazy throw. See, so he can make these throws, and that and that's why uh we shall see who gets the keys. Brad Newsome in the building. Welcome. Welcome. Brad Newsom, Brad Newsom says uh, Mayfield is going to have a good year. Oh, I hope so. I truly do hope so. But on this play right here by Cal Trask, I mean it's a it's a it's a heck of a throw right down the seams, right? So 
it isn't that he can't make those throws. So that's why I give him the benefit of the doubt because we've seen him make these throws where like, I think two plays ago, I said something like he should have, he should have hit him through there, but he's not really seeing it. Like people got, this is the part that this is the problem that we have with Trask is that he's not seeing it because he doesn't have enough reps. This is why people got to understand that's important to have enough reps to start being able to see everybody, see the routes that he's throwing to, see those routes go against different coverages to understand, oh, I see him moving away. I know that route's supposed to do like this, but he's moving away. He needs more reps. When he keys on something, and this is why I have high hopes for him, when he keys on something, he he's right. Um, for instance, that play two plays ago, when he was keying on the middle of the field right here, seeing how far those linebackers were gonna go, if he should check it down, they went pretty far. He checked it down and he got nine yards. When he keys, when he make when he keys on something and says, Okay, what is it if if this quarterback, I'm um, corner or this linebacker or this safety does this, then I'm going to hit that route. When he does that, he's making the right decisions. Now, there are other decisions that he could make in the same play that could be better, but he's doing the first step first. You know what I'm saying? He's doing the, okay, if this is open, if these guys move right here, then I'm going to take that those yards right there. That's pre-snap. Then he hikes the ball. And then they move there, and he's like, oh, I'm going to take it. And he takes it. He takes those yards that they give him. So that's something like small, something small that, you know, we were saying that Baker was doing, and we're like, Baker, you're taking what the defense gives you because you're trying to see, like, is he going to give me that? And then you just take it. And we're crucifying Baker from doing that, but I'm not crucifying Kyle Trask from doing that. But the difference is, Cal Trask doesn't have any reps. He has to feel the NFL first. He has to understand, like, okay, I've seen this route a few times. Now I can, I can go instead of saying this is the safer route. I'm trying to just put completions together instead of just focusing on the safer routes and trying to put the completions together. Now I can let me watch this. Over here, this route over here. Let me let me watch this route over here, right? And if it's there, I'm gonna take it because that's the bigger play. And if it if it's not there, then I'll go through my second progression and see if that linebacker has moved from that spot. Then I'll take this shot, right? And then you go from getting used to going one progression, two progression, to going three progressions. Where now you could go, okay, the big plays here. The second big plays here, and if that's not there, then I'll go to the safer play. And then, huh? He's not. He's not there. Uh, not. Nah, he didn't move. And, and my third progression. Okay, that's it right there. Then you go from that to okay, nobody's there. Check it down. So, Kyle, what we're seeing in these ta in the tape here is Kyle's not necessarily going through his progressions, but he's going for okay. This is this should this route should be open. Let me make sure that let me watch what this guy does and see make sure that that that, that, that route's open. And he's doing it. And now here what you see here is okay, I can't just go for the safe play cuz I don't even know if there was a safe play here, but we need to get the first down. This route is going to give me the first down. This route and this route's going to give me the first down. Then pre-snap behind the you know under the center you pre-snapping okay i see how the defense looks right you're like okay i see how the defense looks right fourth and 12 based on how this defense looks he's probably gonna keep backpedaling and he's gonna probably run into him he might have a chance at passing him up so i'm gonna look at this route and see if it works and he's watching, he's watching, past him, throw it, boom, hits him, 
So that that's what it looks like Kyle's doing in this game, where he's just going off of first progressions. Like I, I, he's getting used to reading keys of one progression. That's the best way to, that I could say it. That's the best way to say it. What Kyle is doing is he's getting good at reading keys that the defense is doing. Like, okay, the defense needs to move here for this route to be able to work. That's reading a key. He's reading his keys to his first progressions, and he's getting used to doing that. And when you get used to that, then you could go two progressions. You get used to, let me, let me read that key. It's there or it's not there. Now I'm going to go to my second progression. Let me read the key there. Worked. It didn't work. And then you get better at having more progressions that you're going through. So we're not seeing much of going through his progressions here. But again, he needs reps. He needs reps. He needs reps. If this was his second year with having like regular reps, then I would already be like, listen, bro, like you need to go through your progressions more. But for the amount of reps he's gotten here, I, like you can't be mad at what you're seeing here. Now, this going into um, this going into the season. We could win some games, but it's the same type of ceiling that we would have with that Cleveland Baker. So Trask has to be better than this Trask for sure. If we're if we're gonna have a chance at winning the division. That's a throw right there. That's a throw right there. Let's go back and see that throw one more time. Oh, it wasn't this one. Come on. Let's see that throw. It's not that one. It's this one. He's looking somewhere over here. Now he's looking over here. And that's what I think that was. He was seeing if anybody over here was shading over here. And as soon as he's seen, no, he's he's over here. He's not going to be in the play. He looks. Is he open? He saw he open. Just bullets that thing in there. Great, great. That's 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 again. That's only reading one key though, right? That's I got to make sure nobody's coming across over here. I got to make sure no one's stopping. We're gonna have a route come over here. I got to make sure no one is coming over here to undercut it or jump it. He's watching him. Where is he focused? He's focused over here. He's 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 occupied over here. Turns over here. Sees okay, he's but he, he if once he cuts, he can beat him once he cuts. Once he cut, there he goes. Winds up. Hmm, what a throw. What a throw. Run for no good. No good. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it. So let me give you my breakdown. Hit a breakdown. All right, so Pretty much, this is this is what we've seen today. We we broke down. I didn't think we were gonna do this. Uh, do all of that? I thought we were just gonna do Baker, but uh, the stream went pretty good. Went pretty smooth. So I'm proud about that. A round of applause for everybody that showed up. We we broke the uh, 
we broke the, uh, I believe, four-person uh, live stream record for Computer and Red podcast. So we broke it twice. It was uh, five people, and then it jumped up to six for a little bit. So shout out to everybody that joined the live stream and watched. Um, so yeah, we broke that record today. We watched Baker Mayfield and we watched uh, <clears throat> we watched um, Kyle Trask today. Uh, we watched film on both of them. We only watched one. I'm, I'm tired and I got to go to bed. I got to go to work tomorrow. So we only watched the first preseason game of Kyle Trask today, but we did watch um, Baker um, with the Browns. And to be honest, I I the only reason why I wanted to watch Baker with the Browns because I thought that was the best Baker. So I said, okay, we'll watch the last year that he was with the Browns, and it was terrible. It it was it was bad. It was terrible. But you know, people said his shoulder was hurt. Whatever. It was nasty. I didn't like what I saw at all. I got like kind of depressed. Um, shout out to Cali Bucks. Cali Bucks, one of my day ones, who uh, told me to watch kyle trask with the rams <clears throat> that supposedly he was doing some a little something something with the rams so we decided to watch some more did i say kyle trask baker mayfield watch baker mayfield with the rams because uh he did a little something something with the with the rams and so we decided to watch some more baker mayfield uh, we ended up watching Baker Mayfield with the Rams. This is the conclusion that we've come to today when it comes to Baker Mayfield. We did get a little bit from the Cleveland Brown games that we were able to um, also see in the Rams. And what we saw was that Baker Mayfield, when asked to stay in the pocket, gets a little Nancy. He doesn't like to really go through his progressions. He see he goes through one progression, and if it's not there, he's pretty much going to check it down. <clears throat> he does not like to take shots down the field if he's in the pocket because he doesn't want to step into the pocket and throw the ball. Um, also, we've seen a lot of corner routes that he does not really want to take um shots on again in the pocket i don't know if baker mayfield is not comfortable in the pocket or his just doesn't his mechanics just don't work for him when he's in the pocket but we did see when when baker mayfield um rolls out he is a better passer when he is rolling out he hits some corner routes that we didn't see him hit and um, he definitely is a better decision maker and he is a lot more calm. He is a lot more, um, a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just not so panicky, you know, when he's rolled out, he makes better decisions. He can see the field better. You can tell that he sees the field better, but even with all that said, the one down part we do have about Baker Mayfield is is that he still hesitates to take shots down the field. He wants to get the play, but he doesn't really care about taking the big play or the shot down the field. That's going to be huge because we got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and Russ and, and Trey Palmer, and there's going to be a lot of shots down the field to take. So here's what I see with Kyle Trask. I see someone who is not afraid of the pocket. I see someone who can make a quick decision while being uh, rushed while he's in the pocket. Makes very good throws. Um, the problem that I see with Trask is that we haven't still seen him be able to go through several progressions. Um, he still seems like he's in base one, but this was his only second uh, preseason uh, his second year um and you know with zero reps pretty much so got to give him some props um but the ceiling with Kyle Trask that I can see right now <clears throat> is kind of that we see that he looks as far as from last year limited but who knows how he looks this year this so preseason will be huge for him um but we do see that he can he can make the throws. He can take shots. He will take shots. That's the bigger part. He will take shots down the field. Um, and 
even though in this game we saw him focusing on um, just getting the ball out and just making the right play to get completions after completions, right? Um, we did see him when he was put in a situation to have to go get third and long. And he focused on the route that was going to go get him the third and long. And he executed twice. Um, big moments at the end of the game in the fourth quarter. So he can make plays. It's just how much can he do? How much is he comfortable with doing? Uh, whatever we've seen him do, he's comfortable with it. But we didn't see a lot because he's not really, we're not really seeing him go through a lot of progressions. But again, he's still, he was still learning the NFL, period. Um, so here's the cap with both of them. Here's the ceiling with both of them. Baker Mayfield has the higher ceiling that we've seen on tape, obviously, right? It would be sad if he didn't. Um, and I thought for a second that he didn't when I saw the Cleveland tape. But once I saw the Rams tape, I said, okay, there is a lot of hope and it's, I just feel a lot better about it. Now, Baker needs to be rolling out a lot because that's when he's comfortable. Um, putting him just under center in the pocket, he's not going to be so pretty. We can win games with Baker. But I said this earlier. He needs to be able, he needs to take shots. He needs to not be afraid of taking shots, whether he's in the pocket or he's rolling out. He needs to take more shots when they're there and stop just getting the easy plays. Hopefully he understands that because when he was with the Browns, the run game pretty much took him down the field in most of the games. The run game and screen plays and check downs pretty much produced for him and took him down the field. It's not going to be the case with us. I mean, I hope I'm wrong and I hope we do have the run game. Um, but even with the Rams, even with the Rams, they had a pretty decent run game. Decent enough at times. And... I don't know if I can be that sure about our run game to feel comfortable enough to feel like, yeah, we'll be fine. There's enough run game in Baker Mayfield's future with the Bucks for him to be productive. I don't know. So with me not knowing, I'm just going to assume we're not going to have that good of a run game anyways. With that said, because of that, he's going to need to take shots down the field. He's He's got to. He's going to have to be braver. He's going to have to be braver. He's going to have to take shots down the field and, and understand when those shots are there, take them, and he's going to have to hit them. Um, so that's that. With Kyle Trask, I do feel like we will be able to get shots taken with Kyle Trask. No problem. The problem with Kyle Trask is the little stuff, right? If the first read is taken away, can Kyle Trask go to the second read, go to the third read? Can he do that? I don't know. We got to find out. Um, getting hit, pocket presence. He fumbled the ball twice, I believe, in this game, or maybe it was another game. Um, but, yeah, you, you, you got to have better pocket presence, protect the football. Just little things a starting quarterback has to do. But as far as taking shots, as far as going down the field little by little, Kyle Trask can do it. But again, when we go against a good defense and they, you know, there's some tape on Kyle Trask and they see that, oh, just take away the first read. What kind of Kyle Trask do we have after that? Where's where's our ceiling after that? So there's a lot of answers to be. There's a lot of questions to be answered. Uh, we will get them in uh, preseason, obviously, in training camp, because one of the biggest questions that needs to be answered is what the heck is this offense going to look like and that was another thing baker looked like he had the higher ceiling but he had that was in the rams offense and the rams offense is a lot easier than this offense that kyle trask is running here how much do we look like the rams offense how much do we look like kyle shanahan's offense how much do we look like seattle's offense is Seattle's offense like the offense we watched that we watched on film when they were against us? Hopefully not, because that offense wasn't bright at all. 
that offense was nothing. I'd rather have the Rams offense. So it, that's one of the biggest questions is how is our offense going to look? Because if our offense doesn't look like the Rams and Baker's not rolling out a lot and there's not easy throws for Baker, our only hope is Kyle Trask. And if Kyle Trask can't get off of only one read, then we our ceiling is not high at all. And it's and and we don't have a chance at winning the division. So no matter how good our defense is, we won't have a chance at winning the division. We have to get some type of production from our offense. We have to get something from our offense. Um so yeah, that's that's how I feel after watching this tape. Uh do I feel better? Do I feel worse about our chances? Again, I'm I'm still in the same place. Uh, I, I do feel more informed, but I do feel like I'm in the same place. You know, I don't feel, uh, I don't feel, uh, I do, I do feel like I know a little bit more about Baker and I feel like I I'm putting myself in the, in the right mindset, um, for Trask of, of, uh, you know, preparing myself for what Trask might give us in this training cap coming up. Um, or what to expect as far as progressing, being better. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we've said it from the beginning. Bucks fans know, you know, a lot of other divisions argue with us and get us to basically say we do have a chance. We can win this division and we can win this division. And I think we got a better chance than more than half of the division um, to uh, to win the division. But it really we know that it all depends on our offense offensive coordinator and our quarterback it really just depends on them so we'll see if we have a chance to win this division and if we don't win the division then we don't win the division it don't matter ain't like any of the teams in the division i got a chance to win a super bowl anyway so all it's gonna do is just put another division banner for somebody and then the next year after that when we get our quarterback you know then everything will go back to normal. We'll go back to winning the division and being uh, in the playoffs and hopefully be a contender because there is a difference between being a contender and just being another team that's in the playoffs. So, yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're leaving it. It's your man, RTP. Skull gang in the building. You already know what it is, but crazy Skull shout out to you, man. Gang! And uh, I will see you guys next time. I see you guys and... We're out of here. Deuce. Remember. Remember. I don't know if you can still hear me. Pewter and red to recording dead. We're out.